my life feels like a bit of a like mess right now. Just trying to get through the days. A little disclaimer, I just feel like being super real in this video, as per usual. So I don't have a line where the TMI starts and ends. I need to go poop. So Chad got this mud room done. What happened here? Someone's awake. Welcome to a day in the life of a newborn and a toddler and an exhausted mom and a disaster of a house right now. Franny's just upstairs. I gotta go get her. I'm eating a protein bar. Our lives are a bit of, well, maybe not Chad's. I don't want to speak for him, but my life feels like a bit of a like mess right now. Franny and I have been struggling with her latch. She's latching. It's not a tongue tie, it's not a lip tie, but it's just a really shallow latch and I have more milk than she's drinking, so I'm leaking and I, yesterday, last night when I put Floyd down um, for bed, I've had like some symptoms of mastitis. I feel better today, but I think I might need to get like a hand pump or something. I take back everything I said like two weeks ago. Anyways, I'll get more into it. Welcome to our life. I gotta go get the BB. A little disclaimer, I just feel like being super real in this video, as per usual. So I don't have a line where the TMI starts and ends. I need to go poo, but I don't have time to sit on the body. I just don't feel like it. But I will say that since giving birth, pooping is going really well. And if you know, you know. So that's going in my favor. This is my setup right now for Franny when she is downstairs here with me. This is like her personal space where I can put her down and she's like up high. I actually love this bassinet, it was genius. Oh, hi Franny. Most of my day will look like this. It's attached to me. When I was pregnant with Floyd, I had the same one. It's so useful because you just strap it to you. She sits on it really good. It's like a little shelf. But this is what most of my day will look like because she's cluster feeding. Oh, I feel so exhausted. Like my body just feels like worn out. I'm eating really good. My mom for Christmas got us like a week's worth of frozen meals like done by a catering company. And so I haven't had to cook dinner and it's amazing, gluten-free, nutritious, healthy, local food. And then I also had a girlfriend who made me like a week's worth of frozen dinner meals as well. So I'm well fed. Thank God. Like there are so many things that are working out really well for us right now. There's just some challenges that we're facing as well. We have no hot water right now. So I normally would sit in the tub and just put my boobs in the water and like express them or let them drain. And I can't do that right now. We boil water so we can pour like a few pots of water into the tub and then I have like a sits bath to like clean myself. And then we bathe the kids in the sink, which all works fine. And Ch Chad just has freezing ice cold showers because he's insane, but so it's all like manageable and doable. We're all fine. We're all healthy. Franny is above her birth weight. Like she's gaining weight. She is drinking milk. It's just not the best latch. So that's been a, a struggle. It also makes her gassy, which is the struggle. Hey, 
if you're uh, looking for a new family to watch on YouTube. I'm always looking for new people to watch, especially like families on YouTube. So in the comment section below, drop your favorite YouTube family besides us. Um, but the Bucket List family, I'm so in love with them so much. If you haven't checked them out, you have to check them out. just called and said she's gonna come over in the next hour so that is really exciting it's pouring rain outside you probably can't see but I'm taking it's called Shang Hu Shang Ha Tang I probably said that wrong it was recommended to me by my acupuncturist whom I love she's a lifesaver it's really good for postpartum healing it helps um, with your uterus shrinking back down and your blood loss and I think it even helps with um, like a little bit of your mood and energy levels. I'm trying to drink lots of water but like it's actually so hard. You know what I need to do? I need to get a water bottle out and use that. Oh my gosh, she's sucking her thumb. I wonder if I'm gonna have two thumb suckers. I don't know why I love thumb sucking so much. It's so adorable, but I do feel bad that as they get older, they might have a really hard habit to quit. So the midwife just left and um, she's gonna send a specialist, a lactation midwife to do a house visit for me, which is so amazing. I love that the midwives come to the house. Like this is such an amazing support to have when you're postpartum, instead of like going into the clinic or I have to drive like all the way into town. We, oh my gosh, I just like realized how scary I look. Chad got this mud room done yesterday. There's like a little few things left to do. We aren't gonna do the ceiling or the flooring just yet. We'll wait till spring to do that because he has another project he wants to start on. But we have our wood burning stove in here and he's gonna light a fire right now because it's a cold and rainy day. Bingo needs to dry off, so. <sighs> but then right here, we're gonna hang all of our jackets and then we have like all of our shoes here. So there's lots of space to keep our outdoor stuff in here and it'll give us more room inside the tiny house. <laughs> Don't touch anything. No, we're making fire. Better get it going, right? Just like yesterday. It's just right away. Oh. So It'll keep the bad guys away? Yeah. The fire? No, this keeps the bad guys away. The stick will keep the bad guys away? Yeah. Because we have you to protect us? Yeah. Next week is actually supposed to get down to minus 10 Celsius here and possibly snow, which will be perfect for the boys. I think they're going to try to go snowboarding. But the wood stove is going to be so nice to finally have working. Ah, ah. Get that out of your mouth. You don't eat markers. Not ah. polite. If you're gonna lick the markers, mom will have to take them away. What happened here? What's that? You little turkey. That was an activity that only lasted two minutes. He'd rather just play with the markers than use them. I found it. You found it? You can put it on. Is that the right side? Let's see. Yeah, push. Push hard. 
So click. Pillow to build a fire? Mm -hmm. no, I don't think so, mister. I use pillow to build a fire while the fence. <laughs> hey, we don't fight. There's a rose. A rose and kiss. A rose? Mm -hmm. Can we kiss? Little monkey. Ow. Why are you always hurting me? <laughs> Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> Ow. Can you be gentle, please? Foot? <laughs> show, show me what gentle looks like. <laughs> oh my god. Someone's awake. I feel like I am somewhat crashing. My whole body is like starting to feel a little bit achy. And I'm really, really tired. So I'm putting a movie on for Floyd. Ronnie was done eating, so I snuck away to the post office because I knew I had a bunch of stuff. Ooh, I'm so excited. I don't even know what all of this is. People have been sending me things. Ooh, I think I already got Franny's birth certificate. My dad sent Franny some stuff. That's what I was really looking for. I got a new like diaper bag and stuff too. It was nice to come to the post office. I live in a very small, I live in a village technically, so um, the male lady knows me and Floyd very well, so we chatted it up and I got to talk about Franny being born. I miss her already. Can we go back home? Let's open this box from my dad and see what's inside. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Aww. I don't have any really exciting girl clothes yet, so this is just too much. I can't even. Oh my gosh, I can't even handle this. Oh, my first pair of stockings. Thanks, Daddy. Our dear cat, Brew, here has been wearing a cone for, oh, I don't know, what's it, like four days now? He's had an injured paw for probably a, a week now, but I think that it's actually pretty much almost better like there still might be a wound there it took us a few days to figure out what exactly was wrong it started off it was just super swollen double the size of his other paw but there was no blood no scab no wound that we could see it was just so swollen i knew there was some sort of injury so we did put a cone on him and one day when i took his cone off to let him eat breakfast and when i wasn't looking he started licking his paw and i think he like licked open the wound and so it was bleeding and I think it drained because now since that moment it's not swollen anymore it looks super clean there's no pus there's like it doesn't look infected it smells fine he's been living in a cone for a few days and he's not happy about it because he's an outside cat and we have not let him outside either we have all of this stuff to properly bandage and wrap his paw when he's ready to go back outside so we'll wrap him up let him go free again <laughs> Hi, honey. No biting. Just kisses.
like Floyd is gonna fall asleep in his swing there. Um, but I'm just gonna make dinner now, just making some rice and gonna warm up some frozen lentil curry. I'm so pumped on. It's been so nice to have these frozen meals to be able to prepare and eat. So thank you for watching and spending the day with us. Life is hectic, but it's all temporary. As always, I hope that you have a great rest of your day. We'll have a great rest of our day and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.